What up, world? It's hump day. Well, at the time of this recording, it's hump day. Still got my night sleep attire on. Man, I gotta get this kid ready for daycare. He's just loving these uh, Sesame Street things, man. Sesame Street is a life saver. You ever alone with your kid, turn that on the tube and just kick back and let them raise your kid for you. <laughs> Time for school, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. I uh, just finished my training session here in the South End. Just got wrapped up with some MIT researchers. They were talking about, or they wanted to know more, get a deeper understanding on how people move and how do trainers tra uh, train movement so looking forward to see how this research comes out and if I'm quoted at all of course I'll let you guys know right now I'm headed to uh, links to chop it up with Christian probably get some more content for his channel and just push him further along this rabbit hole let's get it what's going on man what you working on man Trying to write, write a playbook. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take my hand off the wheel. That's how you gotta like just the rock and metal people shoot. You know what I'm saying? Yo, first of all, I, I had my coffee at 6:30 instead of 8:30, so it's just kind of weird laying down on me. Um, but basically, where I'm at is I'm switching over my content from being very visual-based content to value-based content, mm -hmm. right? So. What I'm really doing is creating, I create some templates and everything I'm going to create is going to be about what type of value or information can I solicit to people. So for example, I'm all about branding. So what I did for this is like, all right, it's going to basically like, like a magazine cover and it's about, you know, do you recognize these brands? Let's talk, talk, look at Target. It's simply just a circle with a dot in the middle, but it's safe to say that these logos represent something bigger, right? A strong identity and culture. So then if your logo doesn't stand for anything, then what's the point? Mm -hmm. So let's think about your brand. What's your desired perception? And how do you plan to look to the height? Focus on your business, not the logo. You know, it kind of sounds contra contradictory and counterintuitive for my, for me, being that I design logos and help people with their design elements and their branding. But I think a lot of times people kind of use their logo as an excuse to get started. Yeah. Or just an excuse not to get started. So it's like, well, how is that logo going to make you money? How is that logo going to, what's the ROI on that logo right now? Because there's a lot of things that we haven't figured out yet. What's yeah, the skeleton of the business? You spend like a thousand bucks on a logo. Yeah, you also can spend five thousand on the logo. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I can just, like I said, I always tell people all the time, I'm like, listen, I can create a, I can design your logo and I can draw a circle with a dot in the middle. And guess what, we have Target. That's a billion dollar logo. But what does that represent? So it's not about me spending a lot of like I said, spending loads and loads of time to create a logo. What I really want think is more important is that what's that symbolize? So let's understand your core pillars. Let's understand your mission. Let's understand what you're really all about and what's your desired perception and how we're going to live up to the height. Once you do that, now I can just I mean I can draw a cross and it's Christianity represents your your your, your belief in God. But at the end of the day, it's a very simple thing, but it represents something a lot lot bigger. Define your brand. Focus on your business. Don't focus on the design. All that stuff will kind of fall in play. What's your symbolic representation? And anything through our conversation of developing your business and your brand, we may have some inspiration of what 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 do we think can be symbolic of your desired reputation or your desired perception. So this is one of my posts. So anyway, I'm going to have a, like a series of just different things. And what I'm going to do right now is my goal is to create 12. 12 at a time. So if I create 12, that's 12 weeks. That's that's three months. That's a quarter. Yeah. So every week I'm gonna post one, and, and every all the content that follows up in that week is gonna be generated based on that topic of discussion and conversation. So people have to understand that kind of walk people through. So in the, the day, like if I were to think of this as a show, if people were to follow me for 12 for for the, for the 12 weeks, they essentially realistically they could essentially create their brand or create their business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, now it's like, now it's going to allow me to kind of free up my hands and my time. It's like, if people really, 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 really see the value of me doing, they want me to do it for, for them. You know, because that's how I learned how to do this stuff. Like, yeah. when you don't have money, you have to do it yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't have money, it's going to cost you time. If you don't have time, it's going to cost you money. You so at the end of the day, like, people, when they come to me, now I know that, hey, they come because they have the money and they don't have the time. 
now it's worth my time to say, all right, let's 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 put this together and I actually can pull this thing out for you. That's the genius. At the end of the day, like, when I look at it, it's like, people are like, okay, Christian, you're gonna give all your secret, secret sauce. This really ain't my secret sauce. Yeah. At the end of the day, like, everybody got access to, access to a basketball, but I ain't like to shoot like Jordan. My bet is like, yo, I can give you the rock, but are you gonna make it? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Are you gonna are put you, that time in the right, gym? Right, right. Yeah, are you gonna put that time in the gym? Are you gonna be able to beat me? Yeah. I don't, my bet is you can. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm defining my greatness right now. Like, you, not everybody has sight, but not everybody has vision. Some people can't see what I see. You know what I'm saying? You can read this in a book. All this is a compilation of years and years of information that I've been stockpiling over the years of, okay, understanding this, understanding that. Now it wasn't like to come up with my own conclusions of how I can implement this into my businesses or my brands and how I can solve people. It's easy as that. You know what I'm saying? As the old saying goes, you gotta pay the cost to be the boss. I wonder if that was a Ric Flair quote or one of those wrestlers. Anyway, whether you like it or not, you're going to be paying the price with either your time, your money, or your attention. All right, like there's no other way around to navigate around that. All right, so if you ain't got no time, you ain't got no money, best believe you have your attention. And when you, wherever you guide that attention is where you're going to reap the fruits of that. All right, so whatever that produces, you're going to reap the fruits of that. So like me, I'm trying to keep my attention focused on like different, not too many things at one time, but first and foremost, before the year ends, I wanna add uh, four more clients to my roster. And by me focusing, I was able to get one consultation meeting this Friday in a couple of days. So if I land that client, then I'm going to focus on three more, right? And this is something that I can control, sort of. You know, as a personal trainer, an independent personal trainer, meaning that I don't associate with any particular gym to get clients or leads like equinox i used to work at equinox and basically just by being in the building you have leads walking around everywhere literally all your leads are under one roof morning from the time that it opens 5 30 a.m to like 10 p.m till it close everybody in that whole facility is a potential lead now as an independent trainer where i um go and basically rent out studios to train my clients i don't have that so basically the whole world including the internet including the viewers of this show is a potential lead so i'm focusing on how can i best serve or be of service to these potential leads so i can so they could basically pay me for implementation. So I give you guys advice, I give you guys programming, I answer your questions, I take you along the journey with me. So these are different ways that I can, you know, and every day I wake up focusing on just delivering that. And then basically I don't got the time, I don't have the money, but I do have the attention to drive that focus and drive it home basically. So at the end of the day, Pick your poison, your attention, your money, or your time. You can't have all three, all right? You gotta choose one and just devote all your resources towards that. Anyways, hope that was a peaceful little juice. Let me go kick it with this kid. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> me and little man having family style meat lasagna tonight this is definitely my go-to from trader joe's when i ain't trying to cook pop it in the oven for an hour Mwah. just finished ordering two microphones for the podcast um they were really cheap so we're gonna give them like a good little test run and see if they're worth keeping if not shipping them things back and then just sticking to the spire studio anyway i'll let you know once i receive them and give you a full in-depth walk around review yada 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 all right guys holla